On this segment, we check valve-to-valve -valve clearancing. To avoid catastrophic failure, when you drop a valve, when you over rev or miss a shift, when you run big cams. Let's go. As we do the B20 project, we figured we will do this video on valve-to-valve -valve clearancing and why and how to achieve safety measures to avoid valve-to-valve -valve contact that leads to engine blow-ups. We strap a used timing belt and clamp it with a vice grip. This way, we can rotate it like a normal engine. Smart, eh? And the Golden Eagle cam gears are one of the nicest gears on the market because they are vernier type degrees and we'll explain that later. Actually, we might as well explain it now. So here's the zero marker. You can see it's aligned to zero. And then you're gonna see ahead of it is advanced one degree and advanced then two degrees after it. You have to align the outer marker to the inner marker. This way it's advanced two degrees. And as you can see on the exhaust side, it's the same. It's on zero. So we're gonna try to advance it two degrees just to be safe on the valve to valve. So we can show you the clearances. Now we have to align the number two degrees or number two on the line to the inner. This way it's advanced two degrees. You can see it, which is a little bit more. There, it's advanced two degrees, as you can see, right? And here you see zero is no longer aligned. So it's advanced two degrees. All right. Now we tighten it to avoid cam slip when we over rev. Just kidding. When we check the valve to valve clearances so that it doesn't slip or move. We tighten it. Just, you know, just hand tight. It's fine. All right. Okay. Now we show you the valves. Okay, now here we are. Now we turn it counterclockwise as if the engine is running. The exhaust valve will open first, obviously. You see that lift? And then the intake. It's on the closing stage of the intake where it's most dangerous or most in danger of valve to valve contact. And that's what we're trying to avoid. So that just in case you over rev or you miss a shift, it's not really that prone to engine blow up. So we'll go with a filler gauge now. Yeah. All right. We use a 0 0.020 and 0 0.021. And we put it together so that it's 0 0.041. So it's a little over one millimeter. Just for safety, you know. You can go tighter, but it's just that I don't feel comfortable with a small window, although you make more power, you'd rather make power somewhere else rather than risk the health of the engine. There you go. That's close. We're going to check. There, it passes through. It kind of touches a bit, but it's still safe enough because we're using a 0 .041, so it's kind of safe. It passes through on both valves, both sides, I mean. So this is advanced two degrees exhaust and zero on the intake. Let's remember that. Now we'll be off to try advanced three on the exhaust and one on the intake. All right, here we go. We advance the intake to align the inner gear or the inner line to the outer number one. There. 
there. Okay, now we tighten it just to avoid slip. You know, you can see it's aligned to advanced one degree. All right, there. Now we advance the exhaust from two to advance three. So we have to oh, we have to align the number three marker to the inside. A little bit. Oh, too much. Oh, there. Okay. Now it's advanced three degrees. You can see it's aligned. Everything else is not aligned except for number three. Therefore, it's advanced three degrees. Our reason to this is because earlier on, it was zero on the intake and advanced two on the exhaust, and it gave us enough clearances. So if you advance the intake one, you add two to the exhaust, therefore three. All right, now we turn to see the valves. All right, a little bit more. Oh, look at that lift. There, that's really close. Now we're gonna try the 0 0.041 clearance of the valve to valve. Let's see, all right, it still passes. It kind of catches it a little bit, but it still passes, so it's still safe on both sides or on the left and right pairs of the valve. So it's still good. Now, technically, this is already good to run, but since we're here, we might as well try retard one intake. Yeah, let's try it now. All right, quick note. By doing this, it lets you be able to degree the cam with the level of comfortability on knowing that you're not going to hit valve to valve. However, don't call it separation because lobe separation is a totally different thing. And we'll talk about it when you start doing on how to degree cams. So just don't say separation to avoid sounding like a noob. Okay, now here we go. We loosen this to retard it one degree. Uh, oh, wait, lefty Lucy. Sorry, sorry about that. All right, so we're gonna align the negative one to the inner line because it's it's, a, it's advanced one degree right now. Okay, there. Now it's negative one or retard one on the intake. It's good. Now we're gonna tighten it, and then we go to the exhaust because. It has to be ahead by two degrees. Now it can just be advanced one or one degree. So we move it back a few degrees. And then we can check the valve to valve clearances if it's still good. Okay, we move it, we align the inner line with the number one on the outer. Sorry if you can't see it because of the light. All right, now it's advanced one with the intake retard one degree. So we tighten it. So we can go and check valve to valve. Let's go. All right. All right, now we go turn it just to see the valve to valve. Oh, sorry about the belt. Okay, we're gonna turn it. Oh, the good lift. That's Pro 2. All right, there. Okay, there. Now we're going to pass the filler gauge in between the valves just to check if we're still good with the current setting. All right, there. It's actually passing a lot better than before, but it's still all right. So this way, we know the certain windows that we can adjust and be safe. Yeah. So on the dyno, we won't have to worry about weird things or just be paranoid, you know. And plus, 
when you get the degree, the cams, you know exactly the safety margins of where it's okay. All right, now we're just turning just to show you guys how it is. It's one rotation, okay, good. Well, not really one rotation. Here we're gonna show you how we rotate it as if the whole engine is assembled just to give us the proper valve to valve clearances or for the head to show us exactly how the valve to valve is with certain cams on in this pro 2 it shows us our safety window though you don't have to assemble the whole engine just to check this this is adequate and it's never done us any wrong by doing this ever since we start getting serious about engines you can click here for more fun technical stuff and subscribe because we'll keep pushing more stuff for you guys